Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. I am the Watcher. Like the others of my ageless race, I wander the multiverse in observation of countless worlds and countless realities. Yes, countless worlds, and upon each of these worlds, countless stories unfold. I have witnessed the ascension of gods and the destruction of celestial bodies, the birth of entire worlds and apocalyptic endings of civilizations. To all things must come an ending. But such cessations may be quiet and peaceful, the passing of one existence to make way for the next. While others are filled with naught but pain and terror, yeah! Witness, if you will, the beginning of the end. It was the Fantastic Four that gave birth to this world's age of heroes, and it is with them that the first of many heroes fall. Oh, Oh, God, Reed, not like this. You can't die, not like this. I, I won't let you. <sighs> no, no, Sue. It's too late to worry about me. You have to get to safety. Have to warn. <gasps> He's stolen. Stolen. What is it, Reed? What was stolen? Who could do this? Oh, Reed... Gone, everything destroyed, even Ben, reduced to rocks and dust. I, I can't just leave you, Reed. I can't just leave the children. They're gone, Sue. He can't get to them. I sent them into the negative zone, where he couldn't touch them. But the portal, destroyed, can't get them back. <gasps> Johnny! Oh no. Oh no, Johnny. Uh, I've got to hand it to you, hothead. You put up more of a fight than I gave you credit for. And I've got the third degree burns to prove it. Shame to trash such a sweet ride, of course, but you know what they say about omelets and eggs. Oh, sh Well, peekaboo! Red's definitely your color. I'm glad you showed up. Let's see if you're half as much fun as your. Deadpool, I don't know why you've attacked my family. Maybe you're working for one of our enemies. Maybe you imagine the Fantastic Four has wronged you somehow. It doesn't matter, because either way, you won't be hurting anyone else ever. <laughs> ever. <sighs> After all these years of superheroing around the world, you should know better, really. <laughs> You don't run with scissors, you don't spit into the wind, and you never, ever turn your back on a dead enemy, especially not one with a healing factor. And so the Fantastic Four, the first family of an age of marvels, passes into the void. Yet this is not where our story truly begins. To witness the true inception of these tragic events, we must turn back the clock and turn our attention to... Ravenscroft Asylum, a place of healing for shattered, tortured souls. It is here that Dr. Benjamin Brighton has introduced radical new treatments, deigned to ease troubled minds, and turned malicious souls toward the pursuit of peace. Let me out! Let me out! I'll rip you apart! Please, please, I'll be good! You can't do this! For pity's sake, we're human beings! Excuse me, Dr. Brighton. You wanted to be informed when he arrived. They just brought Deadpool in. All right, all right, all right. You guys got me. You really had me fooled. Now let me up and I'll tie one of you down. Storm, you're first. I've got a bad feeling about this, Chuck. I don't like it. Wade may be a loose cannon, but turning him over to these quacks ain't the right move. I don't care how high profile this doctor is. I'm afraid this is no longer open to discussion, Logan. Wade needs help that we cannot provide. 
I only hope he can find the care he needs here. You should breathe easy, Professor Xavier. My techniques are unorthodox, but I've had a great deal of success in rehabilitating individuals just like Mr. Wilson. I have methods of my own, Dr. Brighton, and I assure you, you'll find that Deadpool is a unique case. You guys, really, I don't do well with institutions. I have several annulled marriages. I'm overdrawn at the bank, I burned the Smithsonian to the ground. Hmm, I see what you mean. But don't worry. Mr. Wilson received my personal attention. All I'm saying is that if you consider this appropriate after dinner wear, your future in the fashion industry is going to be short. Speaking of dinner, it can't be called meatloaf if you drink it with a straw. But either way, I'm known for being the picture of hot couture, and these sleeves are simply way too long. Not to mention puke-stained white wash, it just washes you out. Come on, Doc. We're a simpatico on this, right? I look ridiculous, don't I? Be brutally honest, like Joan Rivers, honest. I understand you put up quite a fight when the staff tried to remove your costume, Mr. Wilson. Duncan, Vincent, you can leave now. See you around, boys. <laughs> Please, Mr. Wilson, have a seat. Let's get to know one another. I think he wants to be besties. You mean like, I tell you about my childhood and look at ink blots and stuff? Hot dog, you know how long it's been since I had a good old-fashioned one-on-one therapy session? I mean, one that didn't end in gratuitous bloodshed? Where do I start? Not the I was born in a press story again. Yeah, try some of the new this time. I was born a coal miner's daughter. My mother never breastfed me. In fact, none of the neighborhood moms gave me the time of day. Hey, aren't you writing anything down? Believe me, this stuff is gold. You're a trained assassin, are you not? Skilled in all manner of armed and unarmed combat. A capacity for regeneration that makes you nearly unkillable. I don't know about unkillable, although a lot of your best friends have tried. Uh, look, Doc. No, you look. It's your inability to focus. Your incessant jabbering that makes you an inefficient killer. What Dr. Brighton can't do, can't fix, Psycho Man will. Hey, there is no need to be rude. I'm very efficient. You're an inattentive killer. Also, you're selfish in bed. You and I have a great deal of work to do, Deadpool. Unfortunately for you, my goals have nothing to do with solving your psychological inadequacies. Let's fire up the old control box, shall we? <laughs> I'd tell you to relax, that it might ease the pain, but that wouldn't be true. The pain is a necessary rite of passage. It strips away... Resistance. Gah. Gah. Resist. Don't let him make him step a 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 step Excellent. You're responding quite nicely. Killing. He's killing you, killing us. When I decided to abandon my conquest of the microverse for much larger targets, I knew I didn't need an army to help me attain my goals. Luckily for me, the heroes of this world are oh so willing to just hide their most troubled enemies away. Once I'm done conditioning you and those like you, I'll have an unstoppable force of willing soldiers. You should feel it working now, my control box staring down your barriers as my will becomes your own. It hurts. I make a stop. Get out. Get out of my head. Get ah. There. All done now. Hello, Wade. Don't. Doc, you might want to get a second opinion. I'm just getting started. Uh, you really should teach your team how to properly secure a hug-me jacket. No, wait, listen to me. Obey me. Obey your master. Obey, psycho man. You heard the man. Obey. Ugh. Let go. Sorry, Doc, I can't do that just yet. I still need you. See, this is a release form. A clean bill of mental health. <clears throat> All it needs is your stamp of approval. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> you know who I am. You've been waiting for me. You've killed one of them. Finish the job. You, Deadpool, Manami, open the door. Let me out. 
free us. I can pay you. Let's make a deal. No. No deals. I'm putting you out of your misery. Believe me, you don't want to be around for what's coming. <laughs> Not to be rude, but where are those other guys? The other voices? Don't worry about them. You don't need them anymore. And I was hungry. In some worlds, the psycho man would successfully build his army of villains. In some worlds, heroes aligned against his forces and cast them down. In others, psycho man seized dominion of the earth. <sighs> but here, in this reality, the machinations of the would-be conqueror awakened a killer unlike... <laughs> What is happening? The little gadget I stole from Mr. Fantastic's lab seems to be designed with guys like you in mind. Must be a kick in the intergalactic stones to find out Dr. Richards was building some sort of cosmic taser to bring you down, huh? But I, I did not interfere. How did you... See you? I don't see things the way other people do. There's something wrong with me. Ask him. Now, I only want to know one thing. Who were you talking to? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Well, whoever they are, those little peeping toms out there in Never Never Land, they're going to want to keep their eyes peeled. <laughs> they're going to want to see what's next. They're going to want to watch this world burn. To be continued.